Today, I'm gonna talk about being attached to your client results and being worried about their results. Now, don't get me wrong, I think it's so important that if you are a service provider, if you're someone who helps people, who coaches them, that you know what you're doing, that you really help people and that you do really change their life. However, if you're too attached to your client results, if you're really worrying about your clients constantly, you're not gonna be able to effectively help people to the level that you really, really want to. And so what we're gonna play with today is releasing the stress and the pressure around client results, releasing the need to constantly worry about your clients. Because if you're constantly worrying about them, you can't be holding that vision for them of where you're taking them anyway. And so what I want you to feel into today is out of 10, listening to your body, how attached are you to client results? One, not at all. 10, really attached. So how attached are you to client results? The second thing is, how worried are you currently about your clients? One, not worried at all. 10, really, really worried. So attached to your client results, worried about your clients right now. So tuning into that feeling, closing your eyes, really feeling that energy of being attached and worried about your clients. We're going to start today tapping and we're going to do some tapping on the karate chop point. You can open your eyes if you need to look at the points. Just follow what I say, repeat after me, and we're going to go and do some work on these. Even though I'm really attached to my client results. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm so worried about my clients right now, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I really need my clients to succeed, I choose to love and accept myself. I am so attached. I need my clients to do really, really well. They have to succeed. They have to get results. They have to feel good all of the time. I can't handle it if they're not doing well. I can't handle it if they're struggling with something. I can't handle it if they've got a problem. I need to constantly solve their problems. I need to make sure they're okay. They can't survive without me. I have to be there for them all the time. And I have to make sure I get them results. I would hate it if they stayed where they are. I would hate it if they stayed stuck. I would hate if they didn't get results. What does that mean about me? Does that mean I'm a bad coach? Does that mean I'm bad at what I do? Does it mean that my work is useless? I would hate that. I would hate if none of my clients got results. It would mean that I'm a fraud. It would mean I'm an imposter. I can't stand the thought of that. I won't let this happen. I need to make sure that my clients get results. I'm so invested in their results. I've got to make sure that they're happy with me. I've got to make sure that they're successful. If they're not successful, it's all my fault. If they aren't successful, it means I've done everything wrong. I've got to keep worrying about them. I've got to keep stressing about them. I've got to keep checking in on them. Because what if they're feeling stuck? What if they're in resistance? What if things aren't working? I've got to save them. I've got to get them results. I can't stop worrying until they get results. I can't stop thinking about them. I can't stop overgiving. I can't stop. I need to keep going. I need them to get results. Because who am I if they don't get results? Who am I if someone is unhappy with me? My whole business might fail. Everyone might turn against me. I would hate it if that happened. I don't want that to be the case. So I've got to try harder. I've got to keep getting the results. I've got to keep worrying about them. All of the time. And even though I'm worrying about this, 
even though I'm so focused on my clients' results. I'm willing to see this differently. I'm willing to move forward. I'm willing to relax. I'm willing to let this go. Because I know that I always act with integrity. I always do what feels right for me. And I only put out offers and sell things that I believe in. And I know what I teach works. I know the processes I use work. I know that they've changed my life. And I know that they've helped many others. I can't take responsibility for everyone else. I can't determine whether they do the work. I can't decide whether they show up or not. I can't make anyone do anything. And some people don't want to move forward. Some people don't want to change their life. Some people just aren't ready yet. And that's okay. It's not my job to save people. It's not my job to fix them. It's not my job to think that they're broken. Because people aren't broken. People don't need fixing. And people don't need saving. My job is to hold the vision for what's possible. And that's it. And when I hold the vision of what's possible, the right people for me are gonna come into my experience. They're gonna jump into my containers and they're gonna work with me. And that's gonna be so much fun. So I'm releasing the need to determine my worth based on my client results. I'm willing to believe in myself despite what the people around me are experiencing because I know the value of what I teach. I know the value of this work and it's not determined by the people who don't do the work. It's not determined by the people who aren't ready to move forward. It's determined by me. I'm willing to believe in myself now. I'm willing to believe in what I teach. I'm willing to back myself fully and to let go of constantly worrying about other people. People are powerful. People are really capable and they'll always find a way if they want to. It doesn't help them for me to think they're disempowered. It doesn't help them for me to constantly worry about them. So I choose to stop doing this. I choose to focus on the vision. I choose to focus on where I'm taking them and help them move forward and help them change their life. Not because I need their life to change, not because I need them to get a result, but because I know the power of this work. And I really love helping others. And I'm willing to believe in this work, no matter what. In body, mind, and spirit. Drop your arm, close your eyes. Big deep breath. Just checking and listening to your body. Out of 10, how attached are you to your client results? Out of 10, how attached are you to your client results? And then checking in. Out of 10, how worried are you about your clients? How worried are you about your clients? So hopefully that number's dropping. Feel free to go back, repeat again. And maybe you need to come back to us if you find yourself getting really attached judging yourself based on how your clients are doing and constantly worrying about them and taking too much responsibility. Let me know in the comments how you found this. Feel free to follow the link below. Come join my Facebook group and subscribe if you found this helpful. And I will catch you next time. See your team. Have a great day.